All right, guys, we're here in West Palm Beach, and uh, we're just doing a little bit of plane spotting today here on the outside perimeter road here. Um, so we're just gonna see if we can find a little bit of uh, some private jets. I seen a Falcon back there. Let's see what's going on over here today. So today I wanted to take you guys on a little bit of a tour, if you will. Uh, to kind of show you what I do when I go plane spotting and put up some of these videos on YouTube. So uh, I thought I'd take you guys along for the journey so you guys can check it out for yourselves. So as you can see, it's pretty long perimeter here. Uh, this is a one of my favorite places uh, where you can get some planes taken off. I'll show you that right now. You pull in here. It's actually a uh, little park that they have on the side of the airport over here where you can see planes uh, flying and uh, you can park over here and kind of do some plane spotting there's some people here as you can see but yeah we just find a spot here pull in and uh yeah these are some of the planes that you can see taking off um there's actually one right there i think taxiing let's get out and check some planes out all right as you can see just right over here, I think that is a G450 just sitting out there uh, at the big sky. And uh, on that side is the West Palm Beach uh, International Terminal for commercial flights. On this side over here, it's mostly private aviation. And uh, you can see there's a plane over there taxiing. I don't know if you guys can see that. There he is. There's a plane landing right there. So this is where I do some of my plane spotting. As you can see, it's a pretty cool place. Um, it's better to get the ones flying on the outbound um, than inbound on this side, because you can get better views. When they're landing, um, the bigger planes are nice to film, but the smaller planes you can't really see too good. As you can see, here's another beautiful private jet. This is why I love to do plane spotting over here. Looks like a, another a golf stream is right on the other side for their maintenance. So I think this is a uh, golf stream 450, I believe. We can find out when it takes off. So this is the little park they had right next to the airport. I don't know why there's caution tape on all the tables lately, but uh, they just put that up as new. It wasn't there before. Maybe it's some kind of thing going on again. Who knows? But you can come and chill here with your family. They got a nice bench to sit underneath with a shaded tree. And uh, that's the outside perimeter um, road there. That we just came in off of and over here is the airport so it's a nice little place as you can see to take the family to chill out watch some planes flying if uh, you're into that kind of thing Alright, so it's extremely hot today, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get in the car, start it up, and uh, I guess uh, we're going to head down the road a little bit. I want to show you where they park some of the planes, and then we'll come back here in a minute uh, to do some more plane spotting. 
but it's around five o'clock in the afternoon right now. The sun is kind of setting and it is extremely hot. Not that I'm complaining, but let's go uh, see what else we can find. All right, we're gonna let's head go. to my second favorite location. I got a couple hidden spots around the airport that I like to film, um, but yeah. So uh, let's just go ahead to the second one. It's a pretty big airport, as you can see. They keep most of the uh, private section. On the other side over there, there's a uh, NetJet, which uh, is a business that I guess you can rent a private jet. I I believe these this side of the airport is where the really wealthy people like to keep their private jets that are actually uh, owned by the people who own them. <laughs> if that made any sense. Got some beautiful aircraft out here, as you can see today. Uh, let's see if you guys can see some of that. Just beautiful planes out here. All right, let's head to the next location. All right, well, this is not the second location, but this is a pretty cool spot to be at. As you can see, they have some really nice private jets parked out there. Sometimes they keep them over here after they just got maintenance, they'll stick them out here for storage. Usually this is packed. A lot of the planes are gone, um, but I've been out here where this whole entire area is filled with full of planes. They have some beautiful planes out there right now, like this one here. And it looks like, I believe, I don't know if that is a G700 or a Global. Oh man, some really nice aircrafts here. All right, let's go explore some more. As you can see, they got the beautiful big private jets over here. Wow, check this out. Let's get out and take a look real quick. Check that out, that is incredible. Looks like an A320 private jet. Wow. That is really cool. I don't know if we're allowed to be parked over here, so I'm gonna go. But check it out one more time. That is cool, huh? Wow. Alright, let's make like a tree and get out of here. Alright, well. That's another location uh, on cool planes. There's number two. Number three is coming up now. I probably have a total of five, I would say, but uh, so far we only been to two of them. And now I'm gonna go take you guys over to the next one. Hopefully there's planes out there. Sometimes there's planes and sometimes there's not. It depends on how busy the airport. A lot of the planes left. It is summertime, people are traveling again. So, um, I believe some of these guys took their planes to wherever they go, I guess. And I know in West Palm, a lot of times the uh, airport's filled up on the weekend. And Monday morning, they're all out there to depart. So, who knows what we're going to see today. Let's keep searching. And the Fever of the Resistance. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Check it out, guys. Let's get out and take a look at these guys. Unbelievable. And of course, it wouldn't be the same without a G5. Wow, look at the wingspan on that thing, huh? Let's try to take a closer look here without getting in trouble. That's unbelievable, huh? Wow. What do you guys think? Look at the wings on that, huh? 
so as you guys can see there's a lot of beautiful aircrafts over here and a lot to see you got this i think it's a i don't know what this is maybe a cessna but i know this is definitely a g650 i believe and they got a king speed over there which is nice too and then uh cj4 or maybe that's a cj3 i'm not sure what do you guys think pretty cool so many cool planes really neat to be over here right, we're back in the car there's a lot of bugs right now but um as you can see i i don't know everything about every single aircraft and sometimes i say i'm wrong but i do know that i love aviation and that is awesome and that is even awesomer one day folks but man i just wanted to share some of this with you guys so you guys can get an idea of uh some of the places i film now if you look over in this direction you'll see like there'll be planes coming in and landing over here there goes a american airline taking off over here see him rolling down the runway for departure so if we're at that uh park right now we'll be a good view to uh get him taken off but uh, unfortunately we missed that because he's gone. However, we can go back over there and try to get some more footage of that. Look at that. How neat is that, huh? The landing gear. All right, sorry. I was just nerding out on landing gear. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, these are some of the cool places that uh, I like to film at in West Palm. Sometimes you can go down this way too, all the way to the end and uh, see if there's anything down there. Um, there hasn't been anything down here. Let me just go down and check real quick before we go back. Uh, and then we'll try to get some footage of the planes taking off. Man, Florida is definitely summer. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's nothing going on over here, it looks like. There are a lot of cars parked over here too for some reason, which is weird. Usually there's like no cars over here. So we're just gonna turn around and get out of here. Or the key to this is to be very inconspicuous and low profile. So, um, yeah, you don't want to make a lot of uh, ruckus or uh, you know, just want to get in, get the footage, and get out and be respectful of other people's uh, property. It is uh, extremely beautiful to look at these planes. Um, and I don't know all the rules and regulations. I know I am on the outside of the airport in the, uh, you know, area where you can just look at the planes and stuff like that. But <clears throat> I would love to be on the other side so we can really get a close look. However, I don't think, uh, I don't think we can go over there. All right, so we're almost back here at the um, Big Sky little, uh, I don't know what you would call this place. I guess the viewing area for the park. I got some people over here now. So we're gonna just go inside there and check out some more aircrafts flying away. And get some more footage and then uh, probably call it a day. I just wanted to make this short video to kind of show you guys what I do sometimes out here. All right, here we go. Park right here. Look at this, guys. First time we get out of the car and we already see that Falcon that landed earlier is taxiing over to the other side of the airport. Pretty cool. All right, looks like the Falcon is departing now. There 
goes. see he went in that direction for some reason my phone always blinks out when I try to get focus on some of these uh, uh oh somebody else wants to to make some noise up here well I hope you enjoyed plane spotting with me today if you did smash the thumbs up leave me a comment and consider subscribing to the channel if you didn't already and uh, I really appreciate the support of the channel thank you guys so much for watching these videos until next time, Dustin Vendiga, God bless you guys, and have a safe flight. Peace. That was a lot of fun.